Welcome to our blog at Figure Furnishings. We're going to show you a video on how to hang your mug rack. So we're going to use, for demonstration purposes, a piece of drywall and the drywall hangers that we provide in our order if you opt to have them shipped to you as well. So we're going to use a small mug rack today for demonstration purposes only. Um, we're going to provide the measurements for the large mug rack. So this is our sample piece of drywall we're going to use today. This is a small mini mug rack that we're going to use for demonstration purposes only. So the very first step is you're going to grab your mug rack, you're going to hold it on your wall, you're going to find out exactly where you want it positioned on your wall. Once you have that figured out, you are going to make one mark on your wall. It's going to be just on one side at the top of your side piece. So you're going to make a mark, a small mark, just on the top of your side piece. You'll move your mug rack over to the side, and then you will measure down from your mark 6.5 inches, and make another mark. Then in order to make sure your line is straight, so your mug rack ends up exactly where you wanted it to be, You'll grab a level if you have one. If you have a large one, it makes it really easy. But you can also use a smaller level. Um, and you'll line that up with your first mark. And then make sure your mark down 6.5 inches is level with the top mark. So once you have that completed, then you know exactly where to put your first anchor. So this is drywall anchor. You'll notice that there is a sharp point down here. This is because it's a self-tapping anchor. This allows you to hammer your drywall anchor in. You want to hammer it just to where the thread starts. And then once you get it hammered into that far, you will take a Phillips head screwdriver and then you will just screw it in manually. It's very easy to do. You'll just screw it down until the top of your drywall anchor is level with your drywall. So it should be completely flat in the end. So you'll take your drywall hanger, you'll put it on the mark that you've made, and then use a hammer. Just hammer it in, but again, you only want to hammer it in until the tread. Then you'll take your Phillips head screwdriver and you manually just push and turn and push and turn. Each time that you turn, make sure you put a little bit of muscle into it. So now you can see this top of your anchor is completely flat with your drywall. So now that it's flush, you'll take your screw that also comes in your package with a Phillips head screwdriver and you'll screw the screw into your anchor. You're not going to screw this all the way into the anchor. You want to leave it out just a little bit, about two tread, two threads worth. And that's to allow your the keyhole hanger on the back of your mug rack to catch onto your screw. So it has to stick out just a little bit from the wall. So once you have your screw in, your anchor, and you can now measure across so you can now place in your second drywall anchor. For demonstration today, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, but for the larger mug rack, you would measure across 26.25 inches. A little trick, which you can learn more about, is the anatomy of a tape measure, but it has a little notch here that allows you to hook it onto a screw, so you can use that little tool if you want to, and also link in our video and you can find a little bit more about how to use a tape measure correctly. But, so we'll measure across, you'll make another mark at your measurement of 26.25. Then you're going to grab again your level, and then you're going to use this screw that you already have as your fulcrum in order to make sure that your um, Next anchor, drywall anchor, is going to go in the uh, spot that's level, and then you'll mark again the spot that you need to put your next anchor. So we'll grab your anchor, grab your hammer again, put it
put it right on the middle of your dot and then start hammering it in. But again, only hammer it in until the thread starts, then grab your Phillips head screwdriver, push in with each screw until it is again flush with the wall. Then you'll grab the screw that comes with your package and you will screw in this screw into the anchor, again leaving a gap. You do not want it screwed all the way in. Once you have both of these in place, then you can grab your mug rack, and as you can see, they have keyhole hangers on the back. So the keyhole hanger allows it to be very snug against the wall, very sturdy and stable, so it will not tilt or move at all. Um, there is a big hole at the bottom, which is where your screw will go in. And then it go, once it's set into place, it goes into this skinnier little notch at the top, which is what holds it really safe and secure. So. If you pick up your mug rack, you can put your fingers there for a little bit of a guide and you should be able to just set them right on there and then pull them down a little bit and you can pull on them, make sure they're snug. And then since I'm not actually on a wall, I'll hold it up so you can see now it's safe and secure on your wall. Thank you for checking out our blog today. We have lots more videos available to you and please send us any recommendations on things you would like to learn about. We appreciate you stopping by.